Oh, lung thorax, abdomen, thorax. Oh, Clavicular notch. Oh, no. This is not clavicular. Sternal sternal notch. Notch. What what object what do I find below the suprasternal notch? The manubrium? Okay, the manubrium? manubrium is that entire bone. What's that little band that's called? Angle, the angle of angle Louis. Louis. Okay, so this is the clavicle. Where would I find the second rib? Right below. First rib is right above the clavicle. Second rib is right below the clavicle. Okay? Okay, turn around. What am I looking for? C71. C71. And the last thing I'm going to look for are lung fields. Okay? So back here are mostly what? Lower lobe. Lower lobe. Lower lobes. Well, what would I find up here? The upper lobe. Upper lobe, the APCs. Okay? So inspection, I'll take a look at his thoracic cage. It doesn't matter if uh, you do posterior thorax first and then the anterior, or you have to do the anterior? Just as long as you identify the landmarks. Okay. okay. So, so if, if you start off with the back, that's fine. Just mm -hmm. as long as you go through the back and identify the landmarks of the thoracic cage. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't keep the patient spinning on the <laughs> exam table, going back and forth. <laughs> go, okay, this is C7T1. Oh, this is the angle of Louis. Oh, this is the posterior. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get dizzy. Okay, so uh, first one is objective data. So I look at the thoracic cage, right, see whether it's symmetrical or not. Then I'll check for respirations. How quickly is the patient breathing? So, uh, nah, 12, 12 breaths per minute. Holy cow. So, no, not really much. Uh, position, check whether the patient is sitting or lying down in bed and the, or at the table. Okay, uh, patient uh, facial expression is calm. Okay, level of consciousness is normal. Okay, alert and oriented times three. Take, tell the patient to take a deep breath. Okay, so you look at, feel for the expansion of the thoracic cage. Okay, go ahead and Go in the back, say 99. 99. 99. 99. Say it again. 99. Okay, so I felt, I've checked for fremitus. I see no difference uh, on either lung fields. Mm -hmm. Both uh, fremitus is, is uh, normal. Okay, then you just check for any lumps and bumps. Okay, you need to check for lumps and bumps. Don't just do this. <laughs> okay, you need to check with the palm of your hand. Again, this is performance measures. So you want to check for any lumps and bumps. Okay. So after you inspect, you percuss. <laughs> so you need to percuss. Do I need to percuss both front and back? Yes. 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 Because then up here, this is the upper lobe. Posterior so is actually the lower lobe. The lower. So remember how you have that oblique. So. Okay, performance measure. Do not go down like that. You have to zigzag. Compare both sides to each other. So it's... Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay, and that's my... What's that called? Diaphragm Diaphragmatic Surgeon. Okay, so that's that's it on the left side. Okay, then I take my stethoscope. 
So, go ahead, take a deep breath. 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 <laughs> Relax. <laughs> so, okay, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so, yeah. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Get it out. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. And deep breath. Okay, so that's auscultating the lung fields. Okay? Point of uh, something to pay attention to. Listening up here and over here, that's a pulmonary exam. Listening over here and over here, that's a cardiac exam. Okay? So if you pick, if your selection is perform a uh, cardiac exam and you're listening up here, okay? Yeah, it doesn't look too good. <laughs> okay? Up here, these are the apical lung fields. This is the top of your lungs. Okay? You're not looking for pulmonary, aortic and pulmonary valves up here. Okay? Right? So remember, we can tell if you know what you're... We can tell by where your hand placement, whether you know exactly what kind of exam you're doing. Okay? So yeah, they look like they're both zigzag, but the heart is more like a Z. Right? Whereas lungs, you have to compare both sides sort of symmetrically.